I, I just would like to start off showing you on Nero's uh, program. I purchased this for $69 over the holidays, and it's a pretty good deal. And uh, let, me just, let me move this over and show you what you're getting. It's the Nero 10 Media Suite Platinum HD, and that's the best in the bag. It's the best they've got. Now what we're going to do is look at uh, Nero Media Hub, which is a pretty neat program. Uh, it's got a library. You can look into your library and see all your music. It's just really a good way to see what's on your computer and turn it into a slideshow if you prefer. Here you click on my photos and I've got all my photos listed here. I've got a lot of photos, hundreds and hundreds of photos, thousands probably. And uh, you can click on your videos and it will find your videos on the computer and show all that. So it's pretty neat stuff. If I click on this videos eight items, it shows close-ups of my various videos. Uh, it's a it's a great program. It's got it's really neat for seeing what's on your computer. I'm going to go back to photos. I'm going to try and create a slideshow. I've not done this for a while, so I'm going to just, just pause it so I know what I'm doing before I show you. Well, the first thing I'll do is I'm going to click on my file of antique postcards, for an example. That will open them all up. And you can get them big if you high, you hover over them, it turns out big. And then you can uh, click Create Slideshow. Bang! Slideshow 1, Antique Postcards. I just type with two fingers, so you have to forgive me. Loading it up. Okay, they're loaded up. Uh, I would like to see them all. I think I made a mistake when I loaded them up. I should have probably selected them all first, so we're going to try again. Close. Start with Nero Media Hub once again. Okay, now I'm back on the main page and hit Control A for Select All. Well, that didn't work, so I'm going to click on the first one. I'll scroll under the bottom. Well, that's way beyond my antique postcards. What happened? Uh, pause it. Okay, I'm back to my antique postcards. I shift clicked on the upper left hand one. I'll be careful how I scroll along because it goes too fast. And I'll shift click on the bot the last one. And that highlights all of them in between. If there's any I don't want to show. Let's just scroll for the heck of this. Go up a little bit. Oh, wrong way again. Yeah, that should show me the. Well, let's just for simplicity. I could have unclicked some of those and they wouldn't have shown. But I'm gonna hit create slideshow, and then postcards. P O S T C A R D S. I won't put the word antique just to save time. Now it's loading them up. Hit the pause button again until it gets finished. Okay, I guess they're on there now. I can just put Publish or Burn. So I'm going to click the Publish button. Okay, as you see, I've got actually four DVD burners or CD DVD burners in here. The, four, the last one is a re rewritable one, so I'm going to click on that. Then I'm going to hit Burn. Now we'll be burning these to the disk is not empty. I don't care if I delete the stuff. I don't want it on there. Okay, now it's going to be starting to get rid of the stuff that's on my DVD and then put the uh, new postcards on there. I'm going to pause while this is happening. It's finished erasing. Now it's preparing the CD. That erasing took only about 45 seconds. Okay, it's finished and this is a screen that pops up. And now I can hit, uh, I believe, the play button. What kind of show me what's going on with the slideshow? Postcards, the title. I like it. That's pretty professional. Uh, explain what I'm playing. Hit the uh, edit make once to see what this says. Make. 
movie or slice. Oh no, we don't need that. Oh, what happened there? I shouldn't have done that probably. Import. I guess I could add to it perhaps. But let's click on next now. Postcards. Title and appearance, standard, uh, standard 2D. And then you can go on the right side. Or let's go, uh, let's go smart animated 2D just to get a little something cool. I've only got one title there, so let's go around the world for the heck of it. Postcards, and that's okay. Around the world. Well, let's see what else it shows. Glossy black. Reflections. Well, it's all kind of blase looking. But with only one title, you don't want to do anything too fancy or high tech anyway. Then let's click next. And this is what you're going to see, of course, I think when the DVD is put in. Volume control. Turn the volume down a little bit. Menu. Let's click next and see what's going to happen. Then we can burn it. So I'm going to burn and just see how quick this goes. It's first transcoding the beginning. That's going to show your title or what the people will watch when they put the CD into the player or the DVD player. It'll take about probably 30 seconds or so. Here's what you see now as it's transcoding the cover. And now it's putting the slideshow onto the CD or into the computer to get it ready to burn onto the CD. It just got finished saying the end created with Nero Media Hub. Let's see what goes on next. I'm not sure what happened, but it's actually burning onto my F drive, drive that had a had a CD in or a DVD in it, which I didn't want it to do, but for some reason it's burning on my F drive. So we'll see what goes on, but uh, right there it's burning onto the F drive. Currently writing the lead out. Okay, what you want to see is burn process completed to clean it successfully. Would you like to save log file? And I don't save these log files. And then again, you could burn the project again if you prefer, or exit. In this case, we're going to exit. Or you could start a new project. Again, I don't want to save my project. One of these is enough. Okay, now I went back into my Nero Media Hub and I see my optical disk I just created in Drive F. And postcards. You click on there and it would start your slideshow. And I'll try it in my television set also and make sure it works. And that's basically it. That was a pretty good job for a first time using it. It seemed to work quite nicely. Hope this training tutorial did you a little bit good. If you want to see more, let me know. Just one problem I've had when I try and do these three-dimensional menus and play them on a DVD player, my newest DVD, D, DVD player pretty much gets locked up. It won't, you can't navigate through the different menus. My older player has no problem, but the new DVD player, which is a, it's a, it's a high def player, it's a Blu-ray player also. Uh, if I just hit play when the, I load the DVD and hit the play button, the program starts without showing the slide, showing all the fancy stuff you created. But that's one thing I've got to figure out what's going on there. If, and if you have comments, just put a response video onto my video. I hope this helped you. Thanks for your time.
Okay, so this one Christmas, all I wanted was an official Red Rider carbine action 200 shot range model BB gun, but my mom was all like, Yo, shoot your eye out! So I was all, <laughs> But when my dad won this awesome prize,